Using jump rings is probably uh, one of your major skills when you're making jewelry that you'll use with every single piece. Um, at some point you're going to want to attach a clasp, a dangle, who knows what, and uh, be, uh, jump rings are typically the way you do it. In order to use a jump ring properly, you're going to need two pairs of pliers. First thing you do, you're going to line up both your pliers. I prefer to use chain nose pliers. If you happen to have something else like a flat nose or a needle nose, that probably would work as well. Um, I really like the, the tips on the chain nose pliers. I think that they're easier to use. But if you don't want to invest in two sets that do just this one thing, I definitely understand that. So basically what you're going to do is uh, you're going to grab your jump ring close to the opening using the pliers. And with your other hand, you're going to take the same set of pliers, or I'm sorry, the second set of pliers, and also grab close to the opening. Now, you don't want to pull the jump ring. You just want to twist it. So I'm going to push my left hand forward and my right hand back and open a gap like that. So at this point, you can slide on your, the loop of your clasp, your dangle, you know, a wrapped loop, whatever you want to do. Um, and then when you want to close that opening up, you just simply reverse it. You, you uh, twist the opposite way. One thing I do find helpful is if you go almost a little bit past the point where the, where the jump rings connect, that tension seems to close it up better and you get a nice good seal on your jump ring. Don't ever, ever, ever pull a jump ring apart because you cannot get it back in the shape and they break. So you definitely don't want to do that. Um, always uh, put your tips, like I said, tips close to the opening of the jump ring. Twist in opposite directions. Load whatever gear you need to put on there. Um, and then gently close it up going just slightly past center to complete the loop.